and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a drop shadow for transparent text. I've got an image here to use as a background. Let me create some text with the type tool and as I set up holding control, I use the cursor tool for that. I want to put that on top of the image so I make sure that it has the right size. It's still selected, I go to object fill and stroke, get rid of the fill and add a stroke. So a flat color for that. And I can already play a little bit around with the opacity and go down, not too much. Then right click duplicate. You can also press Ctrl D, which is the short key, and you can use your arrow keys to reposition that. If you want to do it with the cursor, so by hand with the mouse, just Disable the snapping temporarily, so click on this menu icon on the right side. Let me put that to the bottom and I want to put it on top of the image, so one step above. So it's now in between the text that I've got as an outline and the image. And I want to increase the blur for that. So it's still selected and with the blur you can create this drop shadow effect. So the exact values that depend a little bit on the image that you use, on the colors that you use for the stroke or the outline of the text. So try it out in the thumbnail. I've used it in white. When you do that, make sure that you give your a drop shadow still a black stroke. So you can use a different color for the outline, but the drop shadow, it most often looks best if you use it in a black color. And this is how you can add a drop shadow to transparent text in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.